Netflix is set to unleash a wave of exciting new content throughout the month of September. Stuck on what to stream? Here are the best movies and TV shows to watch on Netflix in September 2020, plus everything to see before it's gone for good. In September 2020, Netflix subscribers can go back to the Back to the Future film franchise. The streamer introduced the full trilogy to its digital shelves in May 2020, then removed them in July 2020. But just a couple of months later, Marty McFly and Doc Brown will return to Netflix in their complete trilogy glory. Anyone who missed out over the summer can stream all three movies beginning on September 1st. The sci-fi action fun doesn't end there, though. Also headed to Netflix next month is Freaks, You're One of Us, the action-packed German-language superhero film that follows working mom Wendy as she learns she possesses powers of invulnerability and super strength, which were previously suppressed by medication. Wendy teams up with two other powered people to seek out others just like them. But their search soon grows complicated as they end up uncovering a conspiracy bigger than they ever thought could exist. Freaks, You're One of Us hits Netflix September 2nd. Later in the month, catch the 2011 sci-fi sports movie Real Steel, starring Hugh Jackman as a former boxer whose life changes in major ways after robots come to replace human combatants in the sport. Struggling to make ends meet by building robots out of scrap metal, Charlie reunites with his estranged son Max, and together they exact a plan that will put their names on the map, create a bot that can become a champion. Real Steel will drop on Netflix on September 24th. In September 2020, Netflix is intent on making sure that we all get the lion's share of laughs. The first of the month alone gives us a few modern classics, including 2002's Hilarious and Heartfelt Barbershop, 2011's Striptastic Magic Mike, and the 2008 buddy stoner comedy Pineapple Express. There are also some more retro offerings on the way for those who want to tickle their funny bones on the way down memory lane. There's 1993's Coneheads, which stars Dan Aykroyd and Jane Curtin as the heads of the clueless alien family they popularized on Saturday Night Live, and 1978's Grease, a timeless tale worthy of at least a dozen more rewatches. Other comedy selections include the 2005 film adaptation of the Broadway play The Producers with Matthew Broderick and Nathan Lane, which hits Netflix on September 1st, How to Train Your Dragon 2, which arrives on September 11th, and 2005's Waiting, which is required viewing for anyone who has ever worked in a service industry, popping up on Netflix on September 23rd. There's also the Cameron Diaz starring Bad Teacher, the 2011 feature about a, well, subpar educator that drops on September 27th. All right, let's do this. Those wanting even more laughs can stream a quartet of new stand-up specials on Netflix in September 2020. Last Comic Standing Season 7 winner, Felipe Esparza, whose previous specials They're Not Gonna Laugh At You and Translate This, aired on Showtime and HBO respectively, will make his Netflix debut with Bad Decisions on September 1st. Then on September 3rd, Brazilian comic Afonso Pagilla brings his debut set Classless to the streamer. Veteran British comic Michael McIntyre takes over the spotlight on the 15th with a brand new batch of material entitled Showman. And on the 29th, podcaster, actress, and The Circle host Michelle Buteau unleashes her new special, the aptly titled Welcome to Bootopia. While there aren't a ton of new drama selections heading to Netflix in September, the few that we will see are worth watching. There's 2018's Adrift, which stars Shailene Woodley and Sam Claflin as a couple who must navigate the treacherous waters of the Pacific in a tiny damaged boat after their yacht is destroyed by a hurricane. Then, 1989's Glory, an acclaimed Civil War drama with a killer cast that includes Matthew Broderick, Denzel Washington, Morgan Freeman, and Andre Brower. And finally, 2018's Wildlife, Paul Dano's directorial debut that follows the travails of a troubled couple portrayed by Jake Gyllenhaal and Carey Mulligan. All three movies hit Netflix on September 1st. Sitting just beyond the realm of drama in the mystery genre is one of the most highly anticipated films of late 2020, Enola Holmes. Based on Nancy Springer's Enola Holmes Mysteries series of novels, the flick stars Stranger Things' Millie Bobby Brown in the title role, supported by a fantastic cast that includes everybody's favorite British superhunk, Henry Cavill as Enola's older brother Sherlock, Sam Claflin, again, as her older brother Mycroft, and Helena Bonham Carter as the trio's mother, Eudoria. Warner Brothers originally had Enola Holmes set up for a theatrical release, but Netflix acquired the movie in April and will release it on September 23rd. 
For horror fans on Netflix, there are some cool new selections to queue up starting on September 1st, including the extraordinary 1998 B-movie Anaconda and the 2002 Silence of the Lambs prequel Red Dragon. But the ball really gets rolling on September 4th with I'm Thinking of Ending Things, the new psychological horror film from Charlie Kaufman. The flick stars Jesse Buckley and Jesse Plemons as a couple whose trip to meet the young man's parents goes horribly awry. It's hard to say what terror might ensue purely based on the fact that the script for I'm Thinking of Ending Things comes from Kaufman, a truly original screenwriter who provided the world with the cinematic mind screws being John Malkovich, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, and Synecdoche, New York. September 10th on Netflix brings us The Babysitter, Killer Queen, the sequel to director Mick G's obscenely enjoyable 2017 horror comedy The Babysitter. Finally, on September 16th, subscribers can stream the hotly anticipated film The Devil All the Time, the adaptation of Donald Ray Pollock's 2011 Southern Gothic thriller novel of the same name, with a cast that includes Marvel Cinematic Universe alums Tom Holland and Sebastian Stan. Excuse me, preacher. You got time for a sinner. September 2020 will also bring plenty of good stuff for TV binge watchers. All eight seasons of the underrated CW sitcom Girlfriends is a pretty decent haul in and of itself, and it'll drop on Netflix on September 11th. Fans of The Curse of Oak Island and Van Helsing will finally get to binge the fourth seasons of those shows on September 15th and September 27th, respectively. As far as Netflix original series go, hold on to your butts. The first season of the amazing-looking animated series Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous and the first season of the One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest prequel Ratchet, starring Sarah Paulson, both drop on September 18th. And heads up, foodies! The second season of Jon Favreau's and chef Roy Choi's The Chef Show debuts on Netflix on September 24th. If you're one of those poor souls who missed the fourth and final season of the widely acclaimed NBC sitcom The Good Place, you can finally remedy that unfortunate situation on September 26th. It's either this or start Bloodline, and I don't know, I just don't feel like I can see Kyle Chandler as anyone else but Coach Taylor. While many great movies and TV series are arriving on Netflix in September 2020, the streamer is still doing some housekeeping and taking some options off the table. In the first half of the month, subscribers will say goodbye to all seven seasons of ABC's fantasy drama Once Upon a Time, the first season of Cold Case Files, the 2004 sci-fi psychological horror thriller The Forgotten, and more. The back half of September 2020 will see even more removals. The South Korean action horror Train to Busan, the first and third Jurassic Park movies, the underrated Heath Ledger flick A Knight's Tale, and director David Venture's Oscar-winning The Social Network, a modern classic movie which will celebrate its 10th anniversary on October 1st, just a day after it leaves Netflix. But you gotta come back. Somewhere around the end of November, early December, it's gonna be out of control, you gotta come back for it. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite movies and TV shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.